Hi guys, how's it going? Ivano here with an update from the forum today, where Keith Kanek, game director of Star Wars Jedi Republic, posted an update. Basically a follow-up on the news that broke a while ago that BioWare is out as the developer of Star Wars Jedi Republic and they will be handing it over to a company called Broadsword Gaming. Sooner or later, exact timeline on that is not yet known. But Keith confirmed again that it's definitely happening and he posted an update on some of the questions which players might have. So I wanted to go over them and just give you my two cents on it. All right, so Keith is basically saying, first of all, not much is changing at all. You can still play the game, there's still going to be the website and the forums will continue to remain online. Of course, as I said in my previous video, part of the team will also be staying on the game and will move to Broadsword Gaming. That being said, in the previous post, it was, let's say, speculated that roughly half of the Bioware team would be moving over to the new developer, meaning that unless Broadsword starts hiring, that basically means that this game will have a little bit more than half of the current resources. Next question, and that's of course the big one, is the game heading into maintenance mode? And he says, absolutely not. As I've said before, we are working on future plans and so on and so on. There will be more story and modernization coming to the game. But basically, you know, he goes on to say you will of course keep your cartel coins and any purchases you make. So even though there's going to be a new developer taking over, basically everything for the players will stay the same. Now, there's a bunch of posts on the forum and on the Twitter and YouTube channels of the usual Star Wars content creators, and they're mostly positive. Basically, they're saying, see guys, Keith posted that everything is going to be all right and we don't have to worry, the game is going to keep being developed. It's not going into maintenance mode. My two cents on that is, well, if we look back at the last year, we had 7.2, aka the PvP revamp, which launched in December last year. Yes, it's been six months since 7.2. 7.3 is the last major patch, of course, just launching a bit more than a week ago. And now Keith is saying, that, you know, nothing's going to change. We're going to keep pumping out that content for you. And you can expect 7.3.1 towards the end of summer. So I guess that means probably two months from now. With the story continuing in 7.4 as we enter the holidays. So major news, 7.4 is not to be expected until earliest November. So what's that? Four or five months from now. And as I said previously, that would be keeping in line with the pace that we had of previous updates and i wouldn't be surprised if 7.4 drops in december just in time for christmas when people have time to play and spend money on the cartel market meaning that currently the game is at the pace of two major story updates per year which is not very much i mean other games do expansions other games add classes they add new abilities or maybe they even add completely new zones gameplay mechanics this game, not so much. So when Keith is saying that the game is not heading into maintenance mode, how I read that is, well, nothing's going to change because in a way, the game has already been in maintenance mode for at least a while, you know, probably around a year or more, depending on how you define it. This whole message just kind of sounds to me like something that you would post if you don't want people to cancel their subs because you or maybe your shareholders are in negotiations to sell the game right now and they obviously don't want people to quit before they do. So yeah, while some people are hopeful, and this is what Keith is saying as well, that moving to a third-party studio might give them a little bit more creative freedom that they had previously when they were very much directly managed by EA. Yes, maybe that's true. Maybe that's cause for a little bit of optimism with this whole move to a new developer. But then again, the pace of updates and added content in this game has been already very slow. And to be honest with you, I'm not really expecting that it's going to be any faster with a little bit more than half the resources moving to Broadsword. So yeah, I'm a little bit skeptical about this whole thing. And until we hear some more from Bioware or Broadsword in the future, what exactly they're planning in terms of multiplayer content or MMO content for 2024 and 2025, I'm still not convinced that this whole thing is positive at all. That being said, one thing that I found interesting was that they announced some improved integrations with Steam and updating the game engine to support DirectX 12, which theoretically might give them the possibility to 
increase performance a little bit, especially for people with not so fast CPUs. Maybe they are even going to look into adding ray tracing support. We shall wait and have to see what BioWare exactly wants to do with this. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this. Does it make you more optimistic for the future of the game? Does it not change anything? Or does this tell you that maintenance mode is pretty much confirmed? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.